Hey, Brian Kelly here from Zombie Guitar. In this video, I want to show you how to take your computer and turn it into a looper. So this looper will include a drum section, bass section, rhythm guitar section, multiple guitar parts if you want, synthesizers, and any other virtual instruments you may need. So you can do all of this on your computer and then you can then jam over top of your loop that you create with your guitar. So the only things that you're going to need are going to be a guitar, a computer, and an interface. So the interface just simply allows you to plug your guitar into your computer so you can get your signal in. So the ones that I use is the Focusrite Scarlet. So they have a couple different models depending on how many inputs you want. The most common ones are the Focusrite Solo and then the Scarlet 2i2, which has two inputs. So I'll post links to those below. But other than that hardware stuff, um, everything can be done for free using free software. Reaper is arguably not free. That's the digital audio workstation that we'll be using. It costs 60 bucks after a 60 day trial period. But the thing is after the 60 day trial period is over, the software still works perfectly. It just keeps reminding you that you're supposed to pay the 60 bucks. So that's a one-time fee thing, which you don't even have to pay if you don't want to. So you can call that free if you want. I paid the 60 bucks. It's phenomenal software. It's worth it, but you don't have to but everything else that we use 100% free, no, no trial periods even. So let's get started. I'll show you how to put all this stuff together. So the first thing you're going to need is going to be Reaper. That's the digital audio workstation we're going to be using throughout this tutorial. So you can download this right from their website, reaper.fm. I will be posting links to everything that I use in this tutorial right below this video. So uh, to get this, you can just come to purchase and download your evaluation before purchasing. So you can download the program, try it out for as long as you want. If you'd like it, you pay the 60 bucks. If you don't want to pay the 60 bucks, the program still works. That You just won't get all the updates and stuff like that. But it's a one-time fee of 60 bucks if you do want to buy the program. So I highly recommend it. I don't make any money promoting Reaper. I just use the software. I love it, so I recommend it. So that's the first thing. Then uh, we're going to download some plugins that you're actually going to be uh, using for your drum machine and bass machine and all that stuff, which we're going to use inside of Reaper. So I have these all saved. The first thing is going to be our amp simulator. So it's going to be found at igniteamps.com. And you come to software. So emissary. So this is the free amp simulator that we're going to use. This is a, uh, it's like a metal amp. I prefer to use paid amp simulation software, but if you want to just go the free route, this one sounds pretty good for a free amp simulator. So then you're going to need a cabinet simulator too, which is further down the page. It's called the NAD IR. This is the uh, cabinet simulator. So you need an amp and you need a cabinet, just like you do for a regular guitar. Both of these things are 100% free. So download Windows or Mac version of both of these, Windows or Mac. So that's your amp and your cabinet. And then uh, for your bass machine, you're going to do a uh, TAL baseline. So it's going to be at TAL-software.com. So you're going to look for the TAL baseline. So it's going to be our uh, bass synthesizer. Then you're going to download, uh, if you want extra synthesizer sounds, the TAL noise maker. This is a really cool free synthesizer. All right, so download all those things, and then we'll go into Reaper and actually uh, get all this stuff up and running. So here we're inside of Reaper. So there's no tracks right now. So you just add a few tracks. One, two, just double click to add tracks. Three, four. Let me drag these up a little bit. You can hold in control and then drag and all of them will go up at the same time. So let me just name these tracks. This is going to be drums. This is going to be bass. This is going to be rhythm rhythm guitar this is going to be lead guitar 
All right, so now you're just going to need to add the drum machine that you downloaded onto this track, add the bass machine that you downloaded onto this track, and then add the uh, amp simulator and the cabinet simulator to each of these two tracks for your guitar. So in order to make sure that you get all this stuff into Reaper, you first have to make sure that you specify the file path. So when you download these uh, plugins for Reaper, make sure that you save them to C drive, program files, Steinberg. So Steinberg is automatically populated when you download Reaper. So this folder will show up there. So Steinberg VST plugins. So download all of your uh, VST plugins into this folder. They appear as DLL files. So here's the emissary amp. Here is the NAD IR. Here's the MT power drum kit. Here is the TAL baseline and the TAL noise maker. So all that stuff put in that folder and then make sure that options preferences this should already be done for you but if it's not and your uh, plugins aren't showing up in Reaper you just have to go through this extra step so options preferences come down to plugins VST and make sure that the file path is specified up here so you can have multiple file paths that are separated by a semicolon so here's the uh, file path so C program files Steinberg VST plugins make sure that that file path is specified in there click rescan click OK that way all this stuff is going to be able to be pulled into Reaper so once you do that then you can just go ahead and add these plugins to each of these tracks so to do that you're going to click on this FX thing right here so click off on FX and all your stuff is either going to be found under the VST tab or the instruments tab so go to instruments and that's where the MT power drum kit is so add that so now this turns green so that means there is an effects on this track the effect is the drum kit machine so we have a drum machine on this track there's nothing on these tracks so let's add the bass machine to this track click on effects so instruments towel baseline all right so now this track has the uh, bass machine on it and then to add this you're going to add the amp simulator and the cabinet simulator to this track so that's actually going to be found under the VST which is the ignite emissary so this is our amp right here click on this again and there's the cabinet simulator right there so now this track has both the amp and the cabinet simulator alright so there's that and do the same thing for the lead guitar you're gonna want the VST you're gonna want the amp and you're gonna want the cabinet double click get the cabinet alright so now each one of these tracks has the necessary um, plug-in on it that you need drum machine bass machine amp simulator and cabinet simulator amp simulator and cabinet simulator All right, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to add your drum track so we already have the drum machine on the actual drum track so click on this effects this pulls up your drum machine so you're going to come to grooves and you can just try out all these different grooves so you have intros then you have the main beats and then within the main beats here's your main beats and then here's all your fills so you're just going to basically piece all this stuff together intro drum beat fill and then that's it it's, it's very very simple it's clicking and dragging so let's go to intro you just double click to try some of these out so try this one out all right, so I'm gonna go simple I'm just gonna use this first one here just click and drag drag it right out to here make sure you have it on your actual drum track and then drag it all the way to the beginning so in order to play your actual track you can either hit play up here or you can just hit spacebar spacebar will stop and play so all right so that's our intro so now you're gonna choose your actual drum beat so the eighth closed hi-hat folder means you're playing eighth notes on the hi-hat one and two and three and four and so I'm just going to go with that type of hi-hat sound and you can sample all these different grooves
All right, so I'm going to go with, uh, I think I liked Groove 2. Very simple. So let's go with that one. So Groove 2, you click it, you drag it out here, make sure that it lines right up. So the intro is lasting for one bar. So each of these dark lines indicates a bar, and then each of the lighter lines is is a quarter note. So one, two, three, four. So that's one bar. One, two, three, four. That's two bars. So this part lasts three bars. And then you're just going to have a fill for the fourth bar. So you can try out some of your fills. So I'm going to go with that fill, fill number three, right out there. So that is our drum beat so far. So intro is one bar, then the actual drum beat lasts three bars, then the fill is going to last one bar. So let's listen to that all together. Just hit space bar to play. So this is the section I want to loop right here. One, two, three, four bars. I want to loop that section. So to do that, you click at the start where you want to loop it, and then just click and drag. So hold in your mouse, and it's going to highlight this area. All right, so you can change this however you want, like that, on both sides. If you want to get rid of this highlighted area, hit Escape. All right, so let's just keep that loop, or let's keep that highlighted. So in order to enable the loop, you're going to click toggle repeat right here. So now the loop is set up. The loop is on. So that means once this, you can start it from the beginning. Once it gets to the looped area, it's going to play it all the way through. Then start back over from the beginning of the looped area. And it's just going to keep looping this section over and over. So let's try that. Start from the beginning, hit space bar. All right, so that is set up to loop that area. All right, so let me just kind of change this drum beat around a little bit. So this is all MIDI right here. When it looks like this, that's MIDI. So that was already created by this drum program. That's what these plugins do. They just create MIDI stuff for you. So you can alter the MIDI yourself by double clicking on it. So double click, and it pulls up the, this is known as the piano roll. So here's all your drum beats. So you can hear what these do. So what's that red thing? Anything on that line is snare. That's closed hi-hat, and this that's going to be slightly open hi-hat. So I want to change this drum beat, so instead of having the snare on the 2 and the 4, so it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2. I want to have it so the snare is on the 3. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So you can do that by just clicking and dragging this stuff around. So you can uh, click on stuff and delete it. Click and drag. So 1, 2, 3. So the snare is on the 3. So if you just want to delete stuff, you can also double click real fast. So just delete that. Click this over. Delete that. Drag that over. All right. And you can also change this grid too. Right now this grid is set up to uh, quarter notes. So one, two, three, four. And then this indicates the bar. So that's one bar. That's two bars, that's three bars. You can change this grid to show eighth or sixteenth. So I'm just keeping it at one quarter just to visually keep it simple. All right, so now it's going to be the snare drum is only hitting on the three. So let's hear how that sounds. All right, so I don't like that bass drum kick right there. I don't like it right there. Let's hear how that sounds. All 
And let me get rid of that one. So that's a pretty good drum beat. I'm just gonna have to fix this fill here. So click right here. So now you can see the snare. I'm gonna move the snare from the two to the three again. Let me get rid of this hit. So now the kick snares on the three. So let's hear how this whole thing sounds. All right, so that's our drum beat so far. And if you want to change the tempo, you just do that right here. It says BPM. So I think I had the tempo in the demo set to 160. So let me put it at 160. So that's the drum beat so far. So rather than having the drum beat last for just four bars, I believe that the demo I did was uh, six bars total. So six bars looped area. So you can cut this stuff up by simply just clicking where you want to split it and then hit S. S for split. I actually want to split this right here. So this is the section that I want to copy. So. Highlight that section, control C for copy, or just right click, just say copy, paste. All right, so now this is the area that I want to loop. I want it to be six bars long. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's how long I want it to be, and uh, that's basically the drum part. So let's get to the bass line next. Alright, so now we're going to make the bass line. So we're going to focus on this track here, the bass track. Click effects. This already has our uh, Tau bass line plugin added onto it. So you can hear what the tone of this is going to be just by clicking on the buttons. So I don't really like that tone, so choose a preset here. There's a bunch of presets. So I like the soft bass preset. So choose that. So I like that sound for my bass. So we're going to have to create a MIDI item here. So on the drum track, the drums uh, machine did that for us. The drum added all this MIDI for us. It created that. Very simple. You can do that yourself too. You're going to do what's known as painting in an, uh, an empty MIDI item. So make sure that nothing is clicked on. If anything's highlighted out here, just click out here just to make sure nothing is clicked on. So click on the start of where you're going to create the MIDI item, then hold in the control button so it turns into a pencil. Let go of control, hold in control. So make sure it's turned into a pencil like that and click and drag. So now that is an empty MIDI item. So if you click on this, double click on this, <clears throat> it's going to take you to your piano roll. So you can see all the different... Alright, so I'm going to make this uh, uh, bass line, the, the whole loop is going to be in the key of A minor. So if you already know your theory and stuff like that, you can just do this yourself. You can add in the notes wherever. But if you just want to kind of make your life a little easier, you can choose this option down here, key snap, and select the key of A, natural minor. So it'll only allow you to play stuff that's in the key of uh, A minor. So you can't click any of the black keys. So... Alright, so now you're locked into using notes from the A natural minor scale. I'm just going to keep this off. Alright, so my bass line is just going to be mostly A. So that's all I want. I want it to be A and then a quick E to an F. And then I just want that repeated uh, two times. So if you right click and then click and drag, this will highlight everything like that. 
and then to copy, hold, and control. See how that works? So I don't have to do that. I can click and drag. I can just, you know, paint all these in individually if I wanted to. I could do that if I wanted to. Um, so let me see, so G, I want the next note to be a G, and then the last note to be an E, so there's E right there, so that's where I want the bass line to be. as simple as that. So I painted in an empty MIDI item by holding in the control button, turning this into a pencil, and then I clicked and dragged, creating the empty MIDI item. I then double clicked, and then I was able to paint in all these MIDI notes, and I was able to choose the sound by going to the plugin and choosing this soft bass. So it's as simple as that. So now we have our drums and our bass. Let's go and add the rhythm guitar. Now we're just going to lay down the rhythm guitar track, so that's going to be this track right here. So we already have the uh, amp simulation uh, effect on here, and then the cabinet simulator effect on here. So this is um, this is the free amp simulation stuff. I'm not really a huge fan of the tone with the free software. I personally prefer to use S Gear as my amp simulation software. I made a video about that not too long ago. I'll post a link to that video below. But, uh, you know, you can get some pretty decent tones out of this free amp. So, it, you know, it has a clean channel, dirty channel. Just tweak these knobs just like you would any other amp. Switches and stuff like that. So, you can flip over to the back. Choose what types of tubes it uses and stuff like that. So, I'm not going to go through all of the... Uh, I'm not going to... This isn't a overview of how to use this amp it's just showing you that it works just like a regular amp so let's hear all this clean tone sounds right here oh before you hear yourself you have to make sure that armed is on and then you have to make sure that monitoring is on too so if monitoring is off you won't be able to hear yourself so make sure monitoring is on and make sure that this is highlighted red so you can actually hear yourself <laughs> So it's not the best sounding tone in the world, but it's not bad. So I have the clean channel on. If I had the dirty channel on, it would sound like this. Let me put that back on clean. Make sure that you have your cabinet simulator on, because if you don't have your cabinet simulator on, it's also not going to sound all that great. So You can turn off individual effects by unchecking these boxes. So now cabinet simulator is off. So it's not too bad of a clean tone. So we're going to go with that. So um, let me just kind of record something here. So I'm going to get out of this looped area, make sure that this is not highlighted by hitting escape. And I'm just going to record something. So make sure that your track is armed for recording. Make sure that's red. Make sure that your record monitoring is on. And then when you're ready to go, just hit this record button. Alright, so I just recorded that, so I'm going to just kind of cut this, I'm going to click here, hit S for split, click here, hit S for split, delete what I don't need. Alright, and this is my looped section right here. So I'm going to highlight that, and let's just hear what that loop sounds like, make sure that toggle repeat is engaged.
So I'm now going to add some reverb and delay to this um, rhythm guitar track just to make it sound a little better. So click on effects. So within Reaper, there's a bunch of free effects. There's a bunch of reverbs, a bunch of delays, a bunch of tons of stuff that comes with Reaper for free. So double click out here to add another effect or just click effects, add effects. Doesn't make a difference. So you can come to all plugins. You can search for reverb. And this one right here, DX Reverb, that's one that comes with Reaper. That's a pretty good one. So you can see how it just added another effect to the effects chain out here. So now you can just kind of mess around with different, uh, different reverb effects. So when I'm clicking out here, you can turn the effect on or off. So it'll still be in the chain, but it'll just be off if it's not checked or on. So keeping that on, now I have reverb in the chain. So now I'm going to add one more effect. I'm going to add delay. So double click out here, search for delay. So rea delay, that's a good one. So this is going to work just like um, just like a delay pedal. This wet right here is is the amount of the delay effect to turn this up or down the uh, you can either set the delay time to be uh, programmed to eighth notes or sixteenth notes or quarter notes or whatever which will sync up with the tempo of the track or you can just kind of do it by uh, milliseconds so let me show you what I'm talking about so I have this engaged so we'll be able to hear my guitar tone so just messing with this. And then the feedback is the amount of uh, delay loops that it plays. So let's hear how this sounds. Nice natural sounding decay. And then this is the how much uh, delay effect. So if I turn that down, if I turn this up, so I'm going to keep that down around there. All right, so make that tone a little better now. So I just, even though I was playing live right there, that, that's all that stuff that I just did is on this track. So a rhythm guitar track, clicking on effects, this now has the amp, the cabinet, the reverb, and the delay effect. So. So all that stuff has been applied to this pre-recorded rhythm. You can right click on your track and say duplicate tracks. So now this is played twice. So I'm going to delete that. The reason I duplicated that is because all of the effects are duplicated. So if I'm going to record a second guitar part over top of this, so I think I did something like this for the demo. Let me let me turn this loop off real quick. So I think I did something like this for the demo. Let me record real quick. So something like that. So I'm going to actually duplicate this track now. So again, I'm going to delete this because I want all my effects saved on here. So now I'm just going to record a harmony part. 
Let me make sure this is enabled. Record a harmony part. So just recorded a little uh, harmony part on there. Delete that. So now I have this rhythm guitar part, the second rhythm guitar part, third rhythm guitar part, all that have the same effects on there, which I did just by duplicating tracks and then deleting and re-recording. So let's hear all this uh, loop sounds now. So there I have my uh, loop set up. Now I can start jamming over top of it. All right, so now that I already have the loop set up, now I can just jam over top of this using any of these tracks that I want. So these are the three tracks that have the amp sims on them. So if I just want to uh, turn this one on, this is going to be my live track. So that track is also going to be the same track that has stuff recorded on it. So if I play this then I'm going to hear everything at once plus whatever I play live. So let's see what that does. So that's just um, you know using this track. So the the volume, if I want to turn the volume up of this track, it's also going to turn the volume of the pre-recorded loop up. So rather than doing that, let me just create a new track that I can use as my lead guitar track. So let me turn this off. Let me duplicate this. The reason I'm duplicating, let me erase that. The reason I'm duplicating is because now I have all the effects that I want. I don't have to re-add all the effects on this track. So I'm going to call this lead guitar now. So now this is my lead guitar track. So if I want to turn this up, so now I'm really going to be able to hear the lead guitar. So let's hear how that sounds. So now you can hear the lead guitar. So if I wanted to, I could even have my lead guitar tone being, um, you know, distorted if I want. All right, so now I have it distorted if I want. So I don't really like the, uh, the distortion channel of this amp. Like I said, I don't really like this amp tone all that much as it is. That's why I prefer to use paid amp sims. But this uh, video is about free amp sims and free, doing everything for free. So that's why I'm using this amp. So, you know, whatever. You, you can probably dial in a tone if you really, really work at it. But I just don't really like the tone all that much. But whatever. So you can um, set up your lead guitar track to sound however you want. I prefer to just keep it uh, like that. And that's it. That's basically your, your loop. So you can go and you can uh, make these, this loop as long as you want. You can copy and paste as much stuff as you want. So I did. I, I started on the top. I hold in shift so I can copy everything all at the same time. So control C to copy, paste, just keep pasting. So if I wanted to, I can, you know, like add parts as the song goes on. So maybe... Um, So maybe it'd... something like that.
right, so you can see how quickly and easily I'm doing this stuff. I just, you know, kind of copied stuff, pasted it, removed whatever I want. I can move sections around as much as I want, you know, whatever. And then just kind of jam over top of it, whatever track is enabled like that, and that's it. So that is basically creating a loop.